A plane headed for Ghana's capital, Accra, takes off at the Kpong airfield in the country's east. The facility has about nine light aircrafts that are hired for spring farms, surveillance and even transport, making this the busiest private airstrip in West Africa. A few meters away, Patricia Mawuli is making sure another plane is safe for travel before a flight. She's a certified engineer and is also the first woman in the country to obtain a Ghana national pilot's license. Patricia has also had additional training abroad. Okay, prop is alive, so be careful. I'm going to spin the prop, be careful. So the pre-flight check we do is just to check that every bolt, nuts and locking pins are all well secured and even all the pulley systems are well secured before we go flying. On the other side of the runway, another plane has just landed. Michael Kojo is at the controls. He's one of the students training at Fong's flying school. Aspiring pilots come here for different reasons. I think that the flying is going to benefit me as a farmer to help me be able to spray from the sky. By so doing, I'll be able to do more volumes than expected. At this point in my life, it is recreation for me. And I, I think, it, uh, and it's very uh, uplifting. Uh, I'm, I'm 64 years old. I don't intend to stop flying for at least another 10 years. Um, I think uh, any adult uh, would, uh, would feel good when you can control an airplane. And I think it's also appropriate for, for young people to have that same sense of uh, mastery over nature and uh, over a piece of machinery. It was an absolute piece. That was bang on exactly everything we talked The students take theory and practical lessons here. It costs about 60,000 US dollars for the one year course, and students get a private recreational license, which is the first stage in flying. Whilst you're getting ready to do that, I want you to think in your mind about issues of obstacles, everything else. Captain Jonathan Minimum Potter is the chief engineer well, at Kwong. We always do this nav in this direction because bad weather tends to come from this way. So when you're flying. The majority way, of our customers tend to be business people. Uh, people who already have a successful company who want to expand their potential in West Africa and they're frustrated by the difficulties of transport. Other things we do is we will move around, uh, for example, anti-venom and other things that need moved in a hurry. And we're helping to set up medicine on the move flying doctor service, taking medical flights of just a nurse to a village for a clinic and later on, of course, eye surgeons to do cataract operations. The airfield wants to encourage more organizations to invest in planes, which they say save time and money. Patricia is back from her flight. She says her profession requires a lot of practice, discipline and reading. She's currently on a monthly allowance because her education was funded by the school. Even then, Patricia is proud to be a pioneer in her field. I feel so good. It makes me proud. I, t it makes, I think it should also stimulate the young people of Ghana, especially the ladies, that we ladies can do it. Especially whatever man can do, we can do and do better. That attention and desire is what has made her succeed. If she was just a plane, the plane would not love her back. I can honestly say that when she flies those planes, you can see the planes are happy. They are being loved and they love back. You'll see later on in the factory, when she is building, every single rivet is loved into place. Every piece of filing is loved. The detail, the desire, it's not just a job, it's a way of life. Patricia also assembles planes at Pong's factory. She recently became the first black African to obtain the coveted Rotax aircraft engine certificate. Today, she and her colleague are working on a four-seater CH-801 plane. This aeroplane can do a lot of work 
For instance, it can do agriculture work like spraying. Then it can do medical jobs, dropping equipment into the villages for people to get access to. You can do real business with this. Somebody can do banner towing with this airplanes. Quite reliable to do banner towing with. Planes usually take about four months to assemble, and Patricia showed us a float plane she's yet to finish. We call it the amphibian. It takes off and land on the water. So you can fly this plane, land on the water, take your fishing rod, do your fishing. After that, you get back into your plane again, and off you go. As a pilot and engineer, Patricia has already achieved a lot, but she believes that there is still more to do and dreams of becoming a flying instructor, and maybe even designing planes someday. Go inside and pull the cable.